right now we're going to feed the bread heifers. Uh, we'll be selling uh, about 50 head of them this year at the sale. Uh, real functional, nice set of bread heifers. Uh, we summered them up there in central Montana on the Missouri River breaks. They come out of that country looking good. Uh, I think we'll make one heck of a whale of a set of uh, mama cows for somebody down the road. We are actually going by a pen of our fall bulls right now. All our bulls that we sell and raise, we summer them out in, out in the hills, the sagebrush, the junipers. You know, we got a nice, nice disposition on these cattle. And, uh, you know, climb the hills because the cows ain't always around the, the pond or the tank in the summertime. And if your bulls are laying in the brush, trying to get up in the shade, then, you know, you're gonna have a bunch of open cows and that ain't making you no money. Hello and welcome to today's show. We're heading north to Felton Angus Ranch at Springdale, Montana. Where we'll visit again with the father and son team of Richard and Jim Felton and see their working class seed stock operation. Year after year, Felton Angus Ranch continues to breed and send forth very reliable, growthy Angus cattle in ranching operations all across the nation. We'll see some good cattle on the show today and talk with stockmen that know these genetics from years of use. The Springdale, Montana area is a remote and remarkably scenic part of our nation that's situated among the mountains that lead into the northern end of Yellowstone Park, and we'll show you some of that as well. It's hardy Angus livestock and gorgeous big sky country on this episode of The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick, we're glad you joined us. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Felton Angus Ranch steadily maintains an independent approach to raising cattle. The family began raising notable beef cattle in the early 1950s and has become established as an outcross bloodline program within Angus circles. Richard and Jim Felton keep working their plan that is working for many commercial cattlemen. Hi, I'm Jim Felton. This is my wife, Susan, our daughter, Quincy, Mother, daughter, Sydney, my dad, Richard. Welcome to Felton Angus Ranch. Felton Angus is a family operation that ranches in both Miles City and Springdale, Montana. They began raising registered Angus cattle in 1952 and steadily grew to their present day standing as a quality breeder with a working class mindset. They handle the vast majority of their own chores and really enjoy relating to cattlemen. Well, activities right now at Felton Angus Ranch include just, you know, feeding of livestock. Uh, we're building a new uh, corral set up here at the ranch with uh, continuous pipe and panels. The weather's made it a little challenge this year. Last year, or last couple years, we've been pretty dry in the fall and the winter, but uh, that's not the case this year. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of moisture, pens are wet. Uh, you dang sure want to run with four wheel drive. The Felton's prime cow herd is located at their Miles City Ranch. The bulls and heifers are fed and cared for at the Springdale operation. Kind of an inclement day here at Felton Angus Ranch. It's uh, winds, winds blowing about 40 miles an hour, but it's not too cold, so it's not too bad out. Well, we bought this ranch here in 1971, and we had a ranch across the river that we bought in 69. And then in 96, we sold the ranch on the north side of the Yellowstone and bought a ranch on the Tongue River. Uh, but we've had this ranch here since uh, 1971. Basically, uh, in the years we've owned this ranch here, uh, we've uh, rebuilt the house. Uh, it used to be all pretty much a dry land place. Now we've got uh, 350 acres of irrigated ground under pivots here. Two things we do here on this ranch is uh, raise hay and a little grain and cattle. And we use this ranch here basically for merchandising purebred seed stock. 
Felton Angus Ranch is a registered Black Angus operation. We run them like you run them. No pampering here, because you know we know our cattle aren't going to get pampered when you turn them out on your in your land and put them to work. You know we try to run a, a you know a cow that's functional. We want a cow that that performs for us, but passes it down to her offspring. Just can convert it and get it done for us. The Felton program has been built by selecting and breeding bulls that are long and carry plenty of rib, have a big scrotal, and are clean made and travel well. They respect EPD numbers while showing equal regard for phenotype. You know, a lot of the bloodlines that we've like used here at Felton Angus Ranch are probably different than most people use. In our cow herd, we've back we've got Saratoga, we've got we got some really windy in there. We've got wide track in there. That's a good outcross bull that we've had luck with. Uh, use very little traveler, uh, no EXT. So that's, you know, I mean, that's just the kind of the program we've got here. The Feltons have been in the Angus business for a long time. To coin a phrase, they are the producers of working class cattle for the working class rancher. Their program is all about stock that will range and rustle a living and breed and produce calves that will put pounds on the ground. We kind of pride ourselves in producing a product here that goes out and works, uh, you know, covers the country, gets these guys cows bred up in a timely fashion. I would say we're pretty independent here at Felton Angus Ranch. Uh, people get the catalog, they see the, the American Rancher, and they request a catalog and we ship them one and then they call you back and say, wow, your catalog's like a breath of fresh air to us because I've never seen this stuff before. You can come here and get something different and if you're running a bunch of cows that are bred to EXT and a bunch of traveler and, and stuff like that, you can go buy a bunch of bulls here that don't have that in it or very little of it and uh, you know, it'll, diversify your genetics in your herd. The Feltons understand the value of cattle that work and directly know how maintenance factors into a cattle operation. That's kind of our philosophy. You kind of want a trouble-free cow, you know, trouble-free cattle. Stockmen that use uh, Felton bulls, you know, they're looking to sell feeder cattle that weigh up. You know, the more pounds you put on a truck every fall, the more money you're gonna make. Dad likes a lot of length in the cattle, and if you've got cattle that are built right with a lot of length, you know, if they're built like a block of salt, they're thick, but they're short, coupled, they're gonna have hard calving. So if you give them a long product that stretches out, I mean, they can have, you know, have a lot of meat in them, but if they're stretched out right, they're just gonna shell right out of them cows, and your calving problems are not gonna, I mean, it's not gonna affect your calving, and you're just getting a bunch of free pounds. You know, they're getting a tough animal, they're getting results in the calf crop, you know, they're getting out cross, and uh, I think that's why they, why they come here. The Felton Angus cattle range on a variety of wheat grasses. The cows receive some ground hay in the winter, but otherwise earn their living on the range. The bulls are also developed on summer range, and then receive a minimal amount of ground hay, corn silage, and cracked corn prior to auction. This is a group of fall bulls uh, that we run on the Tongue River Ranch all summer long. They were uh, run on, they were weaned last spring and we uh, uh, run them on dry land grass all summer long. And here's a dandy bull right here that's uh, right in front of us, 1492. These bulls have been, you know, handled so that, uh, and fed so that uh, they're, they're, not, uh, they're not pets. Uh, they'll go out and breed the cows and do a good job. Uh, all the bulls we're offering for sale this year are uh, good, thick, long bulls, uh, meaty. Uh, they, they've raised out in a big country, go most any place and breed any cow any place, uh, steep side hills or on the flat country. Well, I think, you know, cattlemen that come to the sale are bet on uh, Superior. Uh, I think they're going to find a nice functional set of range bulls. I mean, they're just gonna reek of muscle. They're long, they're straight, top, thick. If you're looking for feeder cattle and something that'll get after it in the feedlot and make you money, then 
make your calves in demand, then I think that's what you'll find here. Felton Angus Ranch at Springdale sits in Yellowstone country in the midst of the crazy and Absarca mountain ranges. The Yellowstone River cuts through the ranch land as it flows eastward across Montana where it eventually joins the Missouri River in North Dakota. It is rough and yet great cattle country with superb grass where stout cattle come forth. Felton Angus has always purposed their operation to be a source of genetics that ranchers can depend on. They really aren't concerned with taking the headlines in the latest breeder journals. Those of you that met them know what I mean. The focus is set on the commercial cowman and keeping him in the business. Joining me now is Katie Kaufman, host of Superior Sunrise, who knows the Feltons quite well. I do. Thanks so much, Pam. Jim, Susie, and everyone at Felton Angus Ranch, they've become somewhat regulars on Superior Sunrise, and not only are they great folks, as you well know, they have wonderful customers, not to mention great cattle genetics, And too. you interact with them a lot on social media. Yes, I do. Jim and Susie, and truly everyone, even their business page, whether it's Facebook, and I want to say I was the one that twisted their arm to be on Twitter. They might be one of the only purebred operations on Twitter, but you can absolutely get in touch with them one of those ways, and I want to make sure and say hello to all of their great customers, and I think there's some special ones out in Carolina. All right, we'll <laughs> catch up with them on Facebook. Facebook and Twitter. Thanks, Katie. When we come back, we'll talk more with the Feltons and their customers. This is The American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Many Felton Angus customers are long-standing repeat buyers. The reason is simple, they get results. Felton Angus are cattle that are bred to sire calves that will put pounds on the ground. Here's more on our story. We have bloodlines here that are different from people and we use them a lot. We're not selling 200 bulls and having 30 or 40 herd sires representative. I mean, you're not gonna get a consistent product doing that and uh, you know like last year we sold a couple cherry loads to an outfit and they were all uh, they're all out of the same bull and he was plum tickled to get them because that's how you're gonna get consistency in your calf crop and that's gonna go all the way all the way through to the packer the Felton Herd Sire battery, as you might expect, has been developed on the principles and traits that Richard and Jim know will work for their customers. Cattle that possess top, that are easy fleshing, and have growth as well as calves successfully. They sustain a consistently productive set of bloodlines that will work and provide outcross bursts to most cow herds. The vast majority of the Felton customers are commercial cattlemen. I would guess since we've been using these, we've probably put 100 pounds on those steer calves compared to what we were doing. The steer calves last year weaned at 675 pounds, and the heifer calves was like 635. So they did really good. I think it would be rich because of branding. But I left a set of branding irons here probably five, six years ago. And now when he brings them down, we turn them out and they're all branded. And I don't have to go through that again. Well, what we, we feel we get, we get the growth we want, we get the disposition we want, and uh, they, they do well for us. And, and they, they, they gain well, and uh, they just work in our operation they have for a long time. They have good thickness in them, they got length, uh, they carry a good bone. Uh, it just, uh, and they're, they're always improving to uh, make things better for the, the person that's trying to cook, get the beef out there for, for the consumers. Well, we've been buying Felton bulls for 25 years, so we just probably don't go really any place else, just because we like their cattle. The calves have been the biggest we've had for the last two or three years. They just keep getting better every year, it seems like. I mean, somewhere along the line, you kind of got it level out, but <laughs> every year they seem to improve. 
I had a guy tell me, he said, one thing I like about your sale, he says, I can bid and I have the budget to buy every bull that walks through your sale ring. He said, a lot of these sales, I got to go sit on my hand for the first 20 bulls because they're going for 60, 80, 100,000. It's not that way here. Well, I've seen my brother-in-law has been using the bulls and I've seen the results and his weaning weights have went up. And so I thought maybe it's time I better take a look at them and see if I can get my weaning weights to go up. I've seen some good quality calves here and I'm interested that Felton's have good cattle. We've worked about 30 years at least with them buying bulls. They're a nice outfit, their uh, outfit, their cattle always do better uh, once we get them home than they, they look here. They just get better every day that we have them and they're good strong cattle, they last a long time. Lots of longevity and they're just good, good people to work with with good cattle. We retain ownership on quite a few of our calves through the feedlot so I pay quite a bit of attention to the carcass data and uh, as well as growth and maternal data. Since we've been using the Felton bulls, our calves that we feed out have been grading about 92% choice or better, which is quite an improvement for our bunch. The Feltons invite you to join them for their 41st annual production sale on Monday, February 10th, beginning at 12.30 p.m. Mountain at their auction facility located on I-90, one mile west of Springdale. This year, the offering includes 120 coming two-year-old bulls, 80 fall bulls, all fertility tested. There will also be 50 bred heifers, as well as 15 ranch horses. These horses are six to 10-year-old broke ranch gildings that are ready to go to work for you. Some of the nation's best beef is the result of producers in Montana marketing to feeders in the Midwest. The Felton genetics are definitely working for stockmen across the country. Feeder cattle sired by Felton Angus bulls, uh, you know, they're marketed many different ways. People sell them on the grid. Uh, they fit in well with any type of marketing schedule that, you know, if you want to retain ownership, they fit in well with there because they're going to, they produce a really a nice carcass. And from what we're hearing from the uh, feedlot guys, they make money on them. The Feltons continue to enjoy a growing number of friends on their Facebook page. It's a great way of relating to friends, family, and customers. Jim and Susan continue to post photos and keep folks updated from the beautiful country where they ranch and make their home. At Felton Angus Ranch, we um, are very active with social media. We have a website and a blog, which is part of the website, and a um, very interactive Facebook page with lots of um, fans and more every day that, that see a little slice of life on the ranch through Facebook. With the American Rancher and Facebook, we are really covering the country, I guess. You know, we're, we're, we're telling people what it's like here at Felton Angus Ranch, what we do, you know, what we stand for, and uh, it works well for us, and you know, we're gonna keep doing it, and hopefully we'll just keep expanding it out. Twitter and Instagram are recent additions to our website, and it is Jim that is tweeting um, and maintaining the Twitter account, and so we're all kind of having a, having a good time with that as he um, gives little blips and, on Twitter. Several of our customers have um, children that are 4-H and FFA age, and we support them by purchasing animals at the Sweetgrass County and Park County Fairs. This is Jim standing with a Nile Merritt Heifer showman, and the Nile Merritt Heifer program is designed to help students and youth get a start in the cattle business, and we donate a heifer to that program, and the students show them, and then they continue to raise them as part of a cow herd. The girls get up early, we start the day with Jim. Sydney's in preschool now, so twice a week we run her into town for preschool. I am an instructor online for college level biology, and so that keeps me busy working around the girls' schedule. I always feed the crew at lunch, so we have a big lunch, and that's our main meal of the day. And then um, for the rest of the day, it's chasing cows and bulls and kids. We love living in Montana. You only have to step outside the house and, and look in both directions to see the crazy in the Absorca Mountains to, 
take in the view and appreciate life in Montana on a daily basis. Jim and Susan have a pair of darling little girls, Sydney Autumn and Quincy Ray, who are going to know quite a bit about the cattle business before too long. Susan is doing a good job bringing these girls up, and Jim is making a pretty good dad himself. Make plans for the Felton's 41st annual production sale that comes your way Monday, February 10th at 1230 p.m. Mountain on Rural TV, which is Dish Network Channel 232. The auction is brought to you by Superior Productions. The Feltons are great folks and they invite you to look into their Angus genetics. They continue to be the working class producer for the working class rancher. We'd like to thank Felton Angus Ranch for a great show and the visit to their Montana operation. Jim and Susan invite you to friend them on Facebook. Or you can reach them by email, jim at feltonangus.com or call 406-932-6726. For more information about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com. Until we come your way again, I'm Pam Minnick. Thank you for joining us, and I'll see you next time.